Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. In this video, I want to give you some tips on how to navigate this channel. The first thing that I want to share is my About page. If you are on the landing page, just click About in this navigation bar under the icon and title. In here is a description of the channel, the different versions that I have videos for, and also my goals for the channel. Another important thing here is my published schedule. You'll be able to see the different versions and which days I publish videos for. I try to publish videos at around 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That way, if you have favorites, you'll know when to tune in. You may or may not know this, but there are over 40 ways to play Mahjong. I've picked five different versions that I think are most commonly played worldwide. I will have a video too on some lesser known versions, but I focus on five. And these five are listed on my published schedule in the About page. And I also name the videos by these versions. So if you play just a certain version, you can search for videos using that version name. So what you want to do is up here you can see there's a search text box with a magnifying glass. That's going to search all of YouTube. And you're certainly welcome to search all of YouTube for videos about Mahjong or what have you. But if you want to search just my channel, there's a magnifying glass right next to the About menu item. You're going to click that icon and then a search text box will appear. And then you will type whatever style you're interested in. So let's say you're interested in the National Mahjong League videos. So you'll type national. You only have to type part of it and, and it will search based on just that text. So once you type in part of the name, just hit your enter key and it'll pop up all the videos using that word national. So these are all the videos for National Mahjong League. And it doesn't appear that there's really a, a sort order. There's old videos, new videos, there's playlists in here. So it's not very organized as far as the results. But that is one way for you to search. You could also search for specific words. For example, let's say that you saw the video series on At the Table and you want to uh, look at the videos on tells. You can just type tells and hit enter. And then you'll see all the videos that have the word tells in the title. So if you're looking for a certain subject matter, just focus on those words in this search text box and hit enter and see if you find some results. That may be one way for you to find what you're looking for. You could always shoot me an email. I have my email in the about page down here. Oh, oh, here we go. Right down here, view email address. There I am, michelle at mahjongcentral.com. Just shoot me an email and I'll be happy to help you. All right, so that is about the naming conventions. Another way you can look at them is by clicking on, let me see here, where am I? Uh, playlists. So if you click on playlists, you're going to come up with all the different playlists for this channel. And this is how I organize all the videos to hopefully help you find what you're interested in. So you can just scroll down and see, for example, here, National Mahjong League. There, that's the header for this particular playlist. And then over on the far right, you can see there's a little circle with a right pointing arrow. Just click on that to see more playlists. And then you can scroll down further to see additional playlists. This is a vertical display. So you just have to scroll down, or actually it's horizontal, sorry, horizontal display. So you can see the different versions that are available uh, by playlist. 
Another uh, thing that you can do is click this down arrow and you can see specific playlists this way as well and just pick the one you're interested in. So for example, if you're interested in Japanese style or reach, you can just click on that and it'll focus just on the playlist for that particular style. I want to show you also how to open up the video description because a lot of times I'll put information in the video description if I mention a certain thing in the video itself. And some people have a hard time finding that information. So I'm going to open up a video. Let's go here and let's go um, Let's see here. Let's do this one. I'm just going to pause that video real quick. And then down here underneath the video on the left, you see this little, these words here, show more? That's clickable. So if you click that, it's going to expand that space and show you information for that particular video. This is where I'm going to put information and also links that I might mention during the video. So you would just click on any of these things. And anytime you see this blue text, see how it's kind of changing there? Right click on it and then click open link in new tab. Just like that. And then click the tab to look at whatever it is that you're clicking on. That way your session, it stays active and you can come back to it. So let's say, for example, you want to check out my website. Right click on it and then click open link in new tab and it'll open a brand new tab that you can go and look at and you can come back to the video by clicking on the YouTube tab and it's right there. And then if you're done with that tab, just click this little red X to close it. And that way you could always come back to the video. Publishing YouTube videos takes a lot of time and resources. One way that you can support my channel is to watch 30 seconds of a commercial for each video that you watch. I will get pennies for seconds from the advertisers for the commercials on the videos and over time that will really add up because I've spent money on software, hardware, cameras, lighting, things like that and also I've given so much time. This is one way that I can recoup some of the costs for having a YouTube channel. I wanted to show you how you can monitor the time elapsed when you're watching a commercial if you decide to do that. You just click on a video and you can see at the bottom right here there's a time elapse kind of a ticker I guess. And you can see we're at 10 seconds there. Once it goes away just hover your mouse, kind of pull your mouse in and out and it'll show you your time elapsed. If you go for 20 seconds I will get maximum revenue for that particular ad and it would really help my channel. Again only do it if you have time. So we've made it to 32 seconds. Click skip ad and it'll go right to the video. I really appreciate your support. Another way that you can support the channel is to leave a comment. So let's say we're, there was something in the video that you either had a hard time seeing or something maybe that you really enjoyed. Use the comment section to let me know. So I'm just going to say in here, just so you can see how it works, the lighting made it difficult to watch. And then I'm just going to click comment. So there it is. There's my comment. And then when I see a comment, I'll click reply and I'll reply to you. It's a really great way to build the community and also a great way for you to comment questions to me and I'll reply. It's another way too for other viewers to have a conversation together, not just me, but the community as a whole. So I'd appreciate that if you would use the comment section, if there's something that you want to share 
or if you liked or disliked a video, if you have questions, we can use that comment section in all kinds of ways. Another way for you to support the channel would be to click like or dislike. It not only supports my channel, but it gives me important feedback. It kind of helps me uh, keep a pulse on what you like and don't like. So under each video, there's a thumbs up and a thumbs down right in this uh, lower right area. Just click the up arrow if you liked it and the down arrow if you didn't like it. And I certainly hope that you like all my videos. I know they're not all perfect. And maybe I don't share some things that, that you um, agree with, click dislike. But if you are inspired or encouraged or entertained by what you see, click like. Both help my channel and both help me keep an eye on the kind of content that you want to see or don't want to see. There's another icon that I want to show you and that is the share icon. It's next to the like and dislike. It's right here, the little forward arrow to the right and then it says share. If you click that, you can copy this URL. That's kind of the address for the video. You just click copy and then you can click any of these social media icons or even this email icon in order to share it with people in your sphere of influence, your family, your friends, the players in your group, or what have you. For example, if I click this mail icon, it's going to open up my email and that URL will be posted in there and then you can send it to somebody. Uh, YouTube video you need to see. And then click send. That's how you can share a video. You could also share it on Facebook, for example. If you click that, it'll open up Facebook. And then you can click this down arrow to share it on your timeline, share it on a friend's timeline share it in a group that you might belong to, or share it in an event. So keep that in mind. It will really help out the channel and maybe introduce some people to the channel who may not know about it. Another thing I want to show you here is this little line with a plus sign icon. If you click that, there are all kinds of things that that will list here. It's a bit overwhelming, but the primary one I want to show you is watch later. If you see a video that you're interested in, but you don't have the time to watch it, click that little index plus icon and click watch later. And then just click away from there. Just click in the white space and that will be added to your watch later list. And when you log into YouTube again, you'll be prompted with a list of all the videos that you want to watch later, including mine, I hope. There are a lot of viewers for my videos, but not very many have subscribed. I don't know if you've subscribed or not yet. If you have, thank you for subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me that you subscribe to my channel. It tells me that you care. So if you haven't subscribed, I want to show you how to click the subscribe button and then click the notification button. So there are several ways that you can do this. One way is just in this, this button right here in every video, it says subscribe. If you just click that, it'll come up with a page and you can subscribe to my videos here. This is what happened on my channel. It might act a little differently on yours, but if you click to subscribe, you'll get this pop-up box or dialog box. You just click subscribe. And since I'm actually the owner of the channel, I'm gonna get an error, but you won't. If you click subscribe, it'll ask you, are you sure you want to subscribe? And then just say, okay. And that will allow you to subscribe. Another thing that I want to show you is how to get notification 
of when I post new videos. I have to go to somebody else's channel to show you though because I can't subscribe and click that notification button uh, for my own channel. So I'm going to go to Mahjong Time. This is where I play Mahjong. And over here, you can see that I'm already subscribed because it says subscribed. If that is in past tense, that means you have already subscribed. If you have not subscribed, it will say subscribe. It'll be a verb. So if you click subscribe, you'll then be able to subscribe. This is the, the bell notification. You can see here that I have not clicked it. It, it, um, it's just a plain gray bell, but when I click it, it now has kind of a parenthesis around it. That indicates that I've clicked the notification button and I will now get notified when Mahjong Time posts new videos. And that notification will come to me by email, whatever email you used when you created a YouTube account. Um, that's the email address that will be used for notifications. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any videos for the version of Mahjong that you like to watch where I share strategy and maybe some new insights into the game that will give you an advantage at the table. That's the whole reason why I do all these videos. So I want to help you improve your game. Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, there are always things we can learn. I'm even on a learning curve still after, how long have I been playing? Since 1972. How many years is that? That's a long time. And I'm still learning how to play Mahjong. You can never stop learning, which is one of the great things about Mahjong. Let's go back to my channel. I love my channel. This has given me a platform to be able to share my love for this game. I'm very passionate about it. It's more than just a game to me. And because you're here, I know it's more than just a game for you too. Or maybe it could be more than just a game for you if it's not yet. There are many benefits to playing this game, not just for your brain, but socially. It gets you out and with other people. So I hope you take advantage of playing live and I hope that you watch all these videos so that maybe your game can improve when you play. It just brings more joy. Even though winning is not everything, it does feel good to win, doesn't it? And improving your game, you'll definitely win more. And your confidence level too will really help you enjoy the game. And all these videos can help you get there especially if you do all these exercises yourself. If you have your own set, get it out and do these exercises on a consistent basis. And I guarantee you, you will improve your game. If you don't have a Mahjong set yet, go to gammonvillage.com. I think they have the best sets. Search for White Swan and put the word pushers in there if you like those little helping hands on the racks because they do sell the racks with and without those pushers. So if you go to gammonvillage.com and then search for white swan pushers, you'll find a set. They're really the prettiest sets for the you know, contemporary sets. There are some really beautiful vintage sets as well. They're just, you know, more expensive, I think. But anyway, that's another video. If you have any suggestions for this channel, Maybe while you're watching a video, write in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Your input is really valuable to me. You could always send me an email directly. My email address is michelle with one L at mahjongcentral.com. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching my videos. I really do hope that you like them. And more than anything, I hope that they have helped improve your game. That's why I do what I do. If you've subscribed, thanks for joining my channel. I'm so excited to grow this community. And I know that the bigger we get, the more value we'll have for each other. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.